In this session we will continue working on our corridor heading north. We are going to complete this median area this time. Really there's not much difference between this median and the traffic separator other than the assembly when it gets in this area will have a type F curb and gutter on the inside. So that's going to require a different assembly. Let me zoom in down here. I'm going to recycle the assembly that we're already using. Let me come up to the ribbon. I'll launch the copy command and I'll select the assembly object only. I'll press enter and then I'm going to pick that up. Let me press F8 to lock my ortho. I'll copy this up and I'll click. I'll press escape and then we will rename this assembly right away. Let me select it and I'll come over to my properties palette. I'm going to call this SR7 traffic median. Let me press escape. Now we will swap out the curb and gutter in this area. Earlier I showed you that we could swap the curb just using the properties palette. I believe in this case it's a different species of curb. If I go with type D you can see I can't go to right to type F from here. Not a problem. I'm going to use the tool palette. Let me select the assembly. I'll click the tool palette button and then I'm going to bring up the F.tools. Let me right click on the palette name and I'll come down to F.subassemblies. Let's go to the curb and gutter tab and I'm going to choose type F curb. I'll come down and choose replace and then I'll click to replace this one on the inside. I'll press enter and then I'll click to replace this one on the left inside. Let me press escape a couple times when finished. Now when I swapped those out it did move around my marked point and my link to marked point. Not a problem, let me select this. I'll choose move and I'll move it to the top back of curb. I will then select my marked point We'll choose move and we'll move it to the top back of curb here. There we go. Let's also name these since we swapped them. Let me select this one on the right side and I'll call this right curb gutter inside and then we'll name this one as well. We'll call this one left curb gutter inside. Okay, at this point I need to consider whether I'd like to create a new corridor in this area or maybe I'd like to just add a region to this corridor. Since this corridor isn't too complex at this point I'm just going to add another region to it. Let me select the corridor. I'll go to corridor properties. You can see there's not a whole lot here yet. Let me right click on the region and I'm going to choose insert region after. I will then select the assembly that I'd like to sweep along this region. It happens to be median is the default which is perfect. That's the one I just made. Let me click OK. Let's choose the start and end station for the region. I'm going to click the start select button and I'd like this region to start at the end point of my median right at the bend there and then we'll take the end station. I'll take this down to the end. Just for a second let's click OK. We'll rebuild the corridor and take a look at what we have at this point. So we can see the lanes on the right and left side. I've obviously got some targeting I have to do. I've got to target this right outside lane. I've got to target the left outside lane. I have to target the PGL on the left to bring these three lanes over. I also have to take the inside lanes and target the median edge on the right and left side. So we have a little bit of work to do. Let me select the corridor. We'll go to corridor properties and then in the second region I'm going to come down and click the target ellipsis button. Let's take care of the PGL first. I'll select the PGL link and I would like to tie that horizontally to the PGL left alignment. I'll click OK. This one is also a vertical target so let me come down We'll click PGL left link. I would like to associate that with a profile, the profile uh, associated with PGL left. We'll choose PGL left proposed profile. I'll click add. Next we'll take care of the outside lanes. Left lane outside is going to be matched up to the edge of traveled way left alignment. I'll click OK. The right lane outside is going to be matched up to the edge of traveled way right. Now we'll take care of the medians. Here's the right lane number one median edge. I'd like that to be matched up to the median right alignment. And the left lane median edge is going to be tied to the median left alignment. Let me click OK. 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 Let's rebuild. That looks pretty good. 
Let's take this down to the end, and I have a similar problem here that we had earlier. I've got my feature line, in this case the ones for the curb and gutter are coming down, and then they're jumping to the inside, where really I'd like them out here. Same thing, I'm, I'm going to move the start station of this region. Let's push this out a couple hundredths. So corridor still selected. Let me go to corridor properties. Let's take this new region that I just made, and we'll change the start station. 90 here, point 90 is right at the corner. Let's make this 0.93. So we'll just push that out three hundredths. Let me click OK. We'll rebuild. There we go. That looks good. Let me pan this up and take a look. We look good at the end. The only place where I have a problem is right through here. My median edge on the right side. This is an arc, but you can see because of the frequency spacing, my assemblies just aren't inserted tightly enough to create the shape of that arc. Corridor still selected. Let me go back to Corridor Properties. Let's take advantage of one of the new features from Civil 3D 2015. I'm going to go to the Frequency column, and then I'm going to come down to Offset Target. And right here, along Offset Target Curves, I would like the frequency of the assembly insertions based on curvature. I'm going to change that to a mid-ordinate distance of 0.1. The lower you make this value, the tighter the frequency of your assembly insertions are going to be around the curves. Let me click OK. OK, rebuild. Perfect, that looks really good. Let me press Escape. Let's take a look at this in the Section Editor. I'm going to back this down, and I'm going to select the corridor by clicking on this Assembly Insertion right before the curb change. If I select there, and then come up to the Section Editor, that's where it's going to start me. So now I know where I am. Let's zoom in. Let's get right about here and I'm going to zoom to an offset and elevation just to lock this view on screen. Let's walk our way forward. You can see right there is where we jump to the curb and gutter. Here's where it's coming over doing the median width. A little bit more we see the other side come over until we get to the end of the line. When I'm finished reviewing I'm going to click the X to close the section editor. Let's back up. Okay, at this point we have our first median and traffic separator taken care of. In the next session we are going to reach into the project and pull in some additional alignments for the median and traffic separators to the north and then we'll start modeling that area.